So uh, yesterday I posted that video about integral evolution or uh, approaching the phenomenon of evolution from um, as unbiased and unmetaphysical a perspective as possible. And um, Wonderist raised uh, some strong enough objections to uh, his interpretation of what I was saying that I thought it was worthy of a response. Uh, basically he said that I was mischaracterizing selfish gene theory um, misunderstanding it possibly and um, saying that it uh, was on par with other um, paradigms or research programs into evolution uh, that didn't have any proof behind them or evidence um, and I'm gonna just try to re uh, iterate what I was trying to say in the last video because I was not trying to say that natural selection is not a valid observable process which occurs in the natural biological world. Uh, what I was saying is that uh, the selfish gene theory, it's basically uh, suggesting that the level of genes is the best level to look at to understand evolution. Uh, and we should ignore you know, organisms and just look at them as uh, carriers for these self-replicating molecules called DNA and, and genes. Um, and, you know, some of the other metaphors are that the gene is like a program that is expressed uh, in, in this one-to-one -one way into a phenotype or a, a feature of an organism's morphology um, almost independently of the environment. And certainly Dawkins uh, would admit that yeah, environment plays a role, but minimal. Um, I'm saying that this this perspective of genetic reductionism um, can tell us a lot. It cannot, however, explain um, the variety of of species or the origin of species. It cannot explain um, evolution because there there seems to be um, order for free is the phrase that Stuart Kaufman uses, uh, a, co a co theoretical biologist who's trying to incorporate complexity theory into genetic expression. Um, there's order for free in the biological world that cannot be explained uh, merely through natural selection. Um, Dawkins attempts to do this and that's why he sees life as such a, a fluke or an accidental thing and evolution as completely accidental. Um, this makes life seem uh, nearly impossible. We shouldn't really expect to find it uh, very often in the universe, this material universe, uh, because you know so many things had to happen right all along the line for this ever to, to just uh, occur as it did for all these organisms to, to evolve. Um, whereas Kaufman and this new, more holistic paradigm of biological science sees life as something inherently um, uh, rooted in matter, and that matter has this propensity to become alive. Um, Kaufman does work in autocatalytic systems, which is basically researching how molecules can organize themselves, independently of any DNA, into some uh, metabolizing, self-contained, self-generating system that uh, he's saying is the basic essence of life. Um, Dawkins would disagree and say no, genes are the basic essence of life and he calls genes self-replicators uh, when really the genes don't replicate themselves. Genes are dependent upon the intracellular matrix on the way that proteins fold and, and uh, their spatial relations with one another. They're dependent on the environment that the whole organism is embedded in, the nutrients that are available, and in and of themselves contain no information. The activity of evolution is something which occurs uh, in an emergent way when genes, organisms, environments come together um, to produce this phenomenon. It's not all in the genes. So that's all I'm really saying. To sum up, it's just selfish gene theory 
natural selection, while a valid aspect of evolution, is not the only uh, mechanism driving evolution. That's all I'm saying. Um, and I don't think you can really disagree with that. I mean, can you?